Commons now looking to pick out one of the taller men like Van Dijk. He caught Anthony Stokes and, well, Willie Collum has awarded a penalty kick here. Hearts absolutely bemused, but it's Jamie Hamill for the second time in consecutive games with a disputed handball. Can Chris Commons do what he did at Petodre? Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. Commons has Celtic in front, emphatically finished. You don't save those. And Chris Commons with his fourth goal of the season. He won the last six in the league against Hearts. This is Walker, though. And now McHattie blocked. Jason Holt! It's found a way through and Hearts are level. 58 minutes played, Jason Holt, the 20-year-old, has his first goal of the season. This young Hearts side showing such defiance once again. They are level with Celtic and it's Jason Holt. It looked to take a deflection on its way through. Perhaps of Virgil van Dijk. Celtic face the trip to the San Siro in the Champions League on Wednesday night. It's Commons, now Stokes! Calmly taken by Anthony Stokes. Hearts were only level for seven minutes. And Anthony Stokes, who got the winner against Dundee United late on in Celtic's last match, has done it again. It's a fine finish. Stokes has his fourth of the season. Forward it goes. His hearts look to salvage something. Instead, though, it could be Celtic on the break. And it's with Anthony Stokes. He's got Pookie in the middle. Still Stokes. Will he look to go it alone? Anthony Stokes. Oh, it's on a plate for Timo Puki who has a debut goal with four minutes left to play. He's only been in a Celtic jersey for 12 minutes, but Timo Puki has a debut goal for Celtic. Well, how good was the setup play from Anthony Stokes, who has been absolutely magnificent all afternoon. Look at that for a ball to his new strike partner. And Puki couldn't miss. Goal on debut after signing from Schalke. Aberdeen have the corner though. It's wild. Flicked on by Reynolds. Now back in and there's Sola. And Aberdeen have the lead. 13 minutes played. It's Calvin Zola with his first goal for the club. Reynolds got a touch on at the front post. Then it was Michael Hector who just put it back into the danger area and Zola stooped. Here's Hayes. Forward for Smith who's continued his run and he's causing a problem here for Welsh. Good play by Hayes. Zola has it in the six yard box. Pulled back for Pollitt. 2-0 Aberdeen. Just 20 minutes played, and it's Peter Pollitt with the second goal for Derek McInnes' side. A real shambles at the back for Partick Thistle. Welsh was caught by Cammy Smith, who did so well. And then Picciolo seemed to pull out of the challenge on Calvin Zola. Pollitt kept his cool. Shaughnessy forward, Picciolo, that was a mistake, and he's got to get back here, Hayes through for McGuinness, who's got the pace, he's found the finish too, it's 3-0 Aberdeen, and Josh McGuinness has only been on the park seven minutes, but he has found the crucial third goal, Picciolo really caught out here, McGuinness too much pace, too much power, 
Meekings can deliver such a dangerous long throw. Kilmarnock get it half clear. Back in by Vincent. One by Mackay. Doran. Foran. 1 0. Six minutes played. And Richie Foran, the SPFL Premiership Player of the Month for August, has the opening goal. James Vincent returning the ball in. Mackay headed it to Doran and he provided for his captain. Doran, who supplies so many goals for his team, has done it again. <laughs> Nicely done, and out to Rabiu Ibrahim, the substitute. Good ball in two, looking for Nicholson! And Kilmarnock are level, six minutes into the second half. Barry Nicholson celebrates his second goal of the season. What a perfect ball it was to from Rabiu Ibrahim. And it seemed that Graham Shinney tackled that one almost into the path of Barry Nicholson. Boyd. Then forward from Meekings. Billy Mackay could get on the end of this one. And Billy Mackay, the clinical striker, gets his sixth goal. In six games this season, there is no stopping the Northern Irishman. Onto it in a flash, and how about that for a finish? St Johnson unbeaten in the last 13 home games in the league. Murray Davidson, and he powers through Scott Robertson. Stevie May now, he's going to unleash the shot, and Stevie May makes it 1-0 St Johnson. What a season! The 20 year old is having on loan at Hamilton for the last campaign. He scored 26 goals there. He's up to four this season. Heffernan given away by Collins. Murray Davidson won it. It's back with Taiwo though. Still Tom Taiwo into Collins. Good turn by James Collins, blocked. Surely Robertson. Heffernan for the tap-in. The Bernie on our level. Ten minutes before half-time. And it is Paul Heffernan with his first Hibernian goal. Signed before the deadline from Kilmarnock. Robertson was unlucky. Heffernan made no mistake. Taiwo to Collins. He's still looking for his first goal for Hibbs. Nicely through, it's James Collins! Manus got a touch, but he can't keep it out. And with an hour played, Hibbertian have turned a one-goal deficit into a one-goal lead. It's James Collins who at last gets his first goal. Vigers. Back to Zane Francis and goal. Back again to Vigers. Nicely worked between the two of them. It's Francis and goal. It's a good ball in. It's John Sutton to score against his former club. And Motherwell, five minutes from the break, have the lead. And John Sutton, the former St Mirren player, scores for the third game in a row. Peyton. Oh, good willy for Dundee United today. Here goes Gary Mackay. Stephen, though, chasing that one. He got in between the left back and the goalkeeper. He got there first. Mark Brown made the challenge. That will be a penalty kick. Ben Gordon left it for Mark Brown. Mackay Stephen seized on the opportunity and was cleaned out. Mackay Stephen. From 12 yards, sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. And Dundee United lead with 18 minutes played. Mackay Stephen was the man brought down. He dusted himself off and coolly stroked the penalty into the corner. Mackay Stephen scores against his former club. Ryan Gold. 
no space to work in, but he's done magnificently well. Chifchi, Armstrong's header. Oh, it's two and 90 seconds for Dundee United. What a couple of minutes it has been. Stuart Armstrong, the man born in Inverness, gets his third goal of the season. Scored the winner here back in November. And he has got a vital second for Jackie McNamara's side. Chip cheese cross and the looping header from Stuart Armstrong. Missed by Monroe. Here's Chip Chee. Now Armstrong. Gold points to where he wants it. It's Ryan Gold for number three. And he finds the corner of the net. Ryan Gold, the 17-year-old, with his first goal of the season. Dundee United are flying here in Dingwall. A perfect ball through from Armstrong. And then the reverse finish from Ryan Gold. United are unstoppable here. Ross County just cannot contain them. This is Britain. He's lost out, one back, and here's Gold, slip through. Nadia Chifchi is round the goalkeeper, and that's four. Dundee United lead 4-0 in Dingwall. It's Nadia Chifchi with his first Premiership goal. And by the looks of that, he could have just been a touch offside. But when he got through on the goalkeeper, didn't he take it well? Shifted with his right foot onto his left. Round Mark Brown, and United are cruising. Kerry, Staffy, Quinn, Sproul as Ross County look for consolation. The cross comes in, takes a deflection, and Ivan Sproul has got one back for Ross County. Looks like it took a nick off Andy Robertson on its way through, and that made the ball loop over the head of Radislav Czerzniak. It's just the fourth goal that Dundee United conceded this season in the league. Ivan Sproul gets his name on the score sheet. Quinn leaves it for the captain, Britain. Carey advancing on the outside. Graham Carey, left-footed cross, and headed in by Rocco Quinn. You feel it may be too late for Ross County. This was well taken. Carey's cross, Rocco Quinn's header, and it's two goals in the space of four minutes for Derek Adams' side.